to enjoy for a moment or two or three or four. <coughs> My friend Bobby, I'm going to volunteer Bobby for a minute to come on up here in this chair. Thank you. Bobby, you know what happens in that chair? I don't. No, that, that happens in that chair. <laughs> what happens in this chair? About this chair, <laughs> you get to be a therapist, which you happen to be one of the world's best. <laughs> but, uh, what I'd like you to do, Bob, is to take a volunteer who's got a medium-sized issue and use MBL and use the, the uh, Oberdorf system here to get them to a place of resolution, uh, if that happens. Uh, but at least demonstrate to us the, the, the parameters, the questions of the parameters, and the uh, part where you get them to, you know, a neutral, if that happens to happen, what do you do there, and bring it down and do the testing and sew it up. Got it. And, uh, you know, we could take as long as you want. Hour, hour and a half. Hour minutes. and a half, two hours, whatever. Or five minutes. Quicker. Anybody. Good. All right, Bob, you choose the one you want. Um, you want to work on sleeping? Yeah, unless he would. He can work on it vicariously. Yeah, that's what I'm going to do. <laughs> all right. Okay, so all actually, right. all you'll need to do is Are just yeah, sit over there and listen, answer the questions that I ask. Yeah, it'll work all the way across the room. Can you tell me your name? Sarah. Sarah. Bobby. Good to meet you. Nice to meet you, Bobby. Welcome to the chair where all the fun happens. Yeah. Hot so, what would you like to work through? Oh, and, and actually, I want to say something real quick. One of the things that Randy uh, said about that is uh, work through. And what do you guys see as the difference between working through and working on? Sarah, that you'd actually, like to work through. The problem is more fear of not sleeping. I've, this has happened for such a long period of time. Uh, it started in 98 with the deaths of three of my family members, putting out, being put on sleeping pills, and then getting habituated to them. And um, I've come off them sometimes. I've worked through a lot of the issues with the family member deaths. I've been through a lot of hypnotherapy in school. I've resolved issue after issue. But the fear is there that, especially like here, here I'm going to have to come here and be under pressure. Mm -hmm that I won't be able to sleep at night. And I might sleep a few hours, then I wake up and think, oh my god, I can't take a pill now because I'll be groggy in class and I can't, I'm not going to go to sleep and it's going round and round in my head. Right. And how would you like to feel instead? Not, not, and I'm concerned. Um, if I sleep or not sleep, it doesn't matter. I'll make. I, I just want to be unconcerned, not have that fear. That the fear of 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 not sleeping. It's like a circle. So what you'd like to be is just unconcerned. Unconcerned whether I sleep or not. What else would you also like to experience? Relaxed, peaceful, trusting that it'll work. And there are times when you are relaxed and peaceful, yes. right? Yes. When are those? I meditate. I like to sit on my back porch with my cat on my lap, and I'm very peaceful there. Yeah. 
What's that like when you're on on the back porch with your cat? Uh, I turn off the phone. Nobody can get to me. I don't have to have any pressure. I know nobody's going to demand anything of me, and I can just. Sit and look at the trees outside and feel the cat, you know, purring on my lap and knowing that there's just nothing I have to do but just enjoy. And then drink a glass of wine sometimes. And as you're thinking about that now, mm -hmm. uh, on the back porch with your, with your cat mm -hmm. needing you, yeah. how do you feel? Very comfortable and relaxed. As you think about going to sleep at night, mm. how do you think about that now? How does that I'm, feel it's different? It's gotten to, to that I'm afraid to go to bed almost. I have I brought my hypnotic sleep CD and I listened to that, but you have to turn it off and I, I'm afraid it's not going to work. And how would you like to feel? Not, I'm concerned totally. Just I'd like to just lay down and if I sleep, beautiful. If I don't, I know I will eventually. I'm concerned. And what part of you is not concerned about sleeping now. What, what part of me is concerned, not concerned about sleeping now? I'm, I'm, it's daytime, so I'm not too concerned right now. As it gets more towards evening, I will be. Now, beyond the problem, because you can see a problem. You brought this up, yeah. and you kind of volunteered to come up. So you can see a time. Yeah, at some point in the yeah. future where when this is all gone, right? Go down, yeah. Yeah. Not when the sun starts to go down, when this problem has just faded away. Imagine, when, yes. When the you that couldn't sleep yeah. is just a distant memory. Yeah, looking back on that. And now you've taken those skills that you use to be able to accomplish that. Mm -hmm. yeah. And think about all of the good work that you can do. Because here in this room, we have somebody else who has that problem. Yes. yes. And you know from having bought all of those CDs yes. that there's lots of people in the world that also have that problem. Right, exactly. So looking out into the future, mm -hmm. at the you that is not yet, mm -hmm. Looking back, how are you going to feel once this fear of sleeping is no longer a problem for you? Oh, I'm going to feel great. I'm going to feel wonderful. I can really have accomplished something. I've grown. I've actually conquered such a fear that I'll probably be able to conquer other things. And beside that, what else will you feel? Happy, peaceful. And now as you think about that, and think about sleeping, how are you feeling now? Better. Mm -hmm. You're feeling better, aren't mm -hmm. you? Didn't know you were going to feel better that fast, <laughs> did you? No. <laughs> But you're starting to feel better already, mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. but not too soon. Because right. we want to make sure that we take care right. of absolutely it's everything. Still, it's still only noon. <laughs> <laughs> we're gonna, yeah, we're going to have to do the real test at uh, 9 or 10 o'clock tonight.